Welcome back. Let us look into the diabetes drugs which got established in the year 2010. Of course, it is time to say goodbye to 2010. And this is the right time to review those old and new drugs for diabetes which got well established in the year 2010. <clears throat> Unfortunately, some drugs like rosiglitazone and sibutramin were withdrawn from the market. Rosiglitazone because of fear of heart attacks and sibutramin had serious issues with the cardiovascular outcomes trial. 2010, there are a couple of drugs in diabetes which got well established in the international market. And they are the incretins and the gliptins. And of course, bromocretin is a new arrival into the diabetes science steadily growing up. And here you have the Victosa, the classical flex pen by the Novo Nordisk. We have also been using Lyraglutide and now we have more than 85 patients on Victosa. I describe this as a miraculous molecule, very similar to insulin shots but taken only once daily in incremental doses initially to start with 0.3 or 0.6 milligrams and gradually up rate to 1.2 up to 1.8 milligrams per day miraculous because this drug acts by a, a novel mechanism it is a GLP-1 analog and it modulates the secretion of insulin from the beta cells of the pancreas. It suppresses the secretion of glucagon from the alpha cells of the pancreas. And this drug, lyraglutide, is glucose dependent in its action. It is probably a natural hormone which is produced by the L cells in the intestine and being glucose dependent in its action, Victosa will not produce hypoglycemia and the major advantage of Victosa is with its weight loss. In our systems we have seen an average weight loss of 6 kilograms in a period of 3 to 4 months in almost all the patients judiciously using Victosa either as a monotherapy or in combination with metformin and other drugs. And what is the mechanism of yeah. action? We have the DPP-4 inhibitors or dipeptidyl peptidase 4 inhibitors which again act by increasing the GLP-1 secretion, thereby addressing the alpha cell dysfunction and beta cell dysfunction in type 2 diabetes. Previously, we didn't have any drugs to really address this pathophysiological defect in type 2 diabetes, that is loss of incretin effect. And what is the mechanism of action of DPP-4 inhibitors? Here is a carbohydrate rich meal and the intestinal release of glucagon like peptide 1. And here is the active GLP-1. And here you have a bigger inactive GLP-1. In type 2 diabetes, the DPP-4 or the dipeptidyl peptidase 4 
will act upon the active GLP-1, thereby converting it to a bigger inactive pool of GLP-1. And what exactly is the action of the DPP-4 inhibitor? DPP-4 inhibitor will inhibit the DPP-4 enzyme, thereby increasing the active GLP-1 pool. And the prototype drug, which really a blockbuster drug in the international market, is citagliptin. And this was the first DPP-4 inhibitor which was introduced in the market. And this acts via inhibiting the dipeptidyl peptidase 4, thereby increasing the GLP-1 levels in the intestine. Genuvia can be combined with metformin, because metformin also increases the GLP-1. But since Genuvia inhibits the DPP-4, there is a complementary action. And this is a combination of Genuvia with metformin, which also is well accepted by both physicians and by the patients by virtue of its uniqueness in action. Another drug, again, freely available in the Indian market is Vildagliptin. This is again belonging to the same class of DPP-4 inhibitor. Vildagliptin is equally good. Vildagliptin is also available in combination with metformin. Either 500 or 850 or you can give 1000 milligrams of metformin or even more in combination with gliptins. We have one more gliptin that is saxagliptin. So what is the advantage of using the new incretin based therapies, whether it is the injection or the oral drugs? Oral drugs, unlike the GLP-1 analog victosa, cannot produce a weight loss. It cannot act upon the lipids lowering the cholesterol and it cannot lower the systolic blood pressure. Whereas, the injectable form will have pleiotrophic actions other than simply lowering the blood glucose value. In 2010, so we had newer therapies. The newer therapies promises reduction in the dose of insulin more physiological delivery of insulin and prevention of expensive long-term consequences of diabetes. However, most important component of diabetes treatment will be exercise and lifestyle modifications. It is Christmas time but beware of your diabetes. See you in 2011. Until then, goodbye from JDC Diabetes Team in Trivandrum, India.